Today's reading, I wanted to do um, one more reading on Carly Gousset. Now, I've been saying her name wrong. It's not Carly Guys. Apparently, it's Carly Gousset. And I kind of wondered at first, like, her name came to me, and I was wondering, why did it come out as Carly Guys if it's really pronounced Gousset? But then I realized, if I had pronounced it as Gousset, I would have never known how to spell that. So, that was one question I had answered, but... I wanted to do one more reading on her. I wanted to do a, an in-depth reading before I research this. And see. Because I've done one, just a general one. I've done one on her brother Cain. And I'm hoping this one, I don't want to do one specifically on the dad and stepmom. But I'm going to just do an in-depth one. And if their involvement is what I think it is in her disappearance, then it'll tell in this reading. It's going to be final reading before I research on Carly Gousset. Yeah, Hearts sticking together. I'm getting a new deck. I've already got it, got it ordered. I'm waiting on it to get here and I cannot wait. These cards really served their purpose, but they're getting real worn and hard to shuffle. Let's get Carly Gousset. Looking for information on her disappearance. Looking for the circumstances surrounding the day that Carly disappeared. The reason for the circumstances. The environment, family dynamic. Carly's state of mind the night or the morning that she disappeared. How the events of her disappearing unfolded. Something hidden or unknown about her disappearance. The perpetrators. The perpetrator's motive. How to link the perpetrators to Carly. And a final word from the cards. Okay, starting with the first card here. This is going to be the, the circumstances surrounding the day that Carly went missing or she disappeared. That's going to be the Queen of Swords in the reverse position. That represents not forgiving the past. It's using it to hold over somebody's head or other's head. Uh, it signifies an older or mature female um, who's trying to drag you down by spreading malicious gossip about you or being and or being overly critical. It also represents dysfunction. Having a cold or absent mother or an evil stepmom. I was very telling there. Okay, when aspected, it's aspected as an older female. This female being bitter, cruel, unforgiving, spiteful, vindictive. She lacks empathy for others. Obsessive and controlling. She's deceitful, a liar, and a cheater. This first card right here tells about everything that... I, I saw or that I felt before I even done the first reading. If you go back, if you have watched it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I feel like that the spread of malicious gossip, uh, you know, it was um, really put out there. That's the stepmom made sure it was known that um, Carly had either tried some type of drug or was on some type of drugs now i did see that as far as um that was the first first thing that was printed out on the article that 
first part of the article that I saw. So I feel like that would have been spread. spread. Not only is that spreading malicious gossip about someone, but that's also creating a little bit of an alibi, in my opinion. But um, dysfunction, uh, yeah, from what I saw, very much so dysfunctional. And having a cold or absent mother, her biological mother, we all know, was um, not present in her life would not have been present in her life because she was being raised or was currently living with her father and stepmother. So, I mean, that's just, that's just obvious there. And, or having an, an evil stepmom. And I feel like that this aspect was um, very much describing the stepmom. All right, now the next card is going to be the reason for the circumstances, and that's going to be the Knight of Cups in the reverse position. That's, um... Signifying moodiness, tantrums, uh, emotional turmoil, and stressful situations. That, for all the aspects of the stepmother, I would I would think so. And like I said, I I saw the father as being an alcoholic who liked to um, put his hands on these kids. So that would make for a stressful situation as well. Now the next one is going to be the environment. That Cardi was in the fam family dynamic, and that's going to be the Empress reversed. That's focusing too much on material and mental aspects of life instead of like your spiritual. It's disharmony, and it shows someone that's feeling unattractive and undesirable. Stepmom, see, I didn't say in the reading everything that I saw, but I, and I still really don't want to, I mean, put that out there, but. I seen it as as Cardi getting Don Wells by her dad and the stepmom knowing about it and either participating or participating. She had an involvement in that. I'll just put it to you that way. Um that would definitely cause someone to feel unattractive and undesirable if uh, your husband chose his daughter over you. And it's also a card that shows affecting mother issues. So that goes hand in hand with, with all this right here. Her being overly critical and spreading malicious gossip, being the evil stepmother. Now the next one is going to show Cardi's state of mind the day that uh, she disappeared or went missing. That's the Nine of Cups. That shows someone who's feeling like with high self-esteem, high self-confidence. It's also a card of celebrations and parties. And I said that also very first reading. I felt like that she was either... Um, at some function with her friends, a sleepover, a party of some type. So that confirms that for me right there. Uh, the next one is going to be how the events unfolded the day that she went missing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's the King of Wands reversed. That's someone that's trying to control everyone with bullying tactics, using aggression and brute force. Yeah, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. As far as the stepmother and the father being responsible for her her disappearance and the next one is going to be something hidden about uh, Cardi's disappearance of this whole case that's going to be the king of cups reversed now this is aspected as an older male this older male is uh, manipulative he's also controlling and abusive he's the type that um, will use his ability to sense the emotional weakness of others and to um, use it as a weapon against them Taking advantage of, of somebody's vulnerability. Using this to uh, get his own way or just simply for his own amusement. He's vindictive, spiteful, cannot be trusted. This is father. This is father. So the next one is going to be the perpetrator. And it's going to be the two of cups reversed. That's showing a lack of harmony usually within or relating to a romantic relationship. And it's arguments within a family. Once again... If my husband chose my daughter over me, I believe that that would be a, a lack of harmony and arguments within the family as well. Now, the next card is going to be the motive, and that's the Ace of Wands reversed. It shows a lack of commitment in a relationship. It's uh, seeing the woman is waiting around for the man. Once again, confirming what I saw. Next card is going to be the link between the perpetrator and Carly, and that is the devil. That's someone that's and being enslaved to a relationship, a relationship that's demanding too much. It shows one of the partners, or both, could be one or both, um, with lust in the negative aspects, in the wrong aspects, such as a, a father, um, Don Wellson, with his daughter. That would be a lust in the negative aspect. It's also a card that shows addiction issues. And I said from the jump, too, that I felt like Dad was an alcoholic. 
So the last card is going to be the final card. And that's the Ten of Cups reversed. That's showing changes in family bonds. Family issues that need to be addressed. Um, the need to keep up appearances. Being like the Joneses. And it also shows friends stepping back from your social circle. Ooh. I probably should have done this read first and foremost, but all in all, this has pretty much confirmed everything that I saw from the jump. And that's, you know, dad having a, a different relationship with his daughter than he should have. The stepmom, at first, I feel like she was willing and a participant as well. She had an involvement. But as it went on, it uh, put a wedge in between them as it made her feel undesirable and unattractive. Like she was always waiting around for him, caused disharmony. Which spilled over is into disharmony in the family. And I'm sure create a jealousy between stepmom and Carly. Which would have caused her to be bitter or cruel. Holding things over her head. I just... They're, they're, they're the ones that's responsible for that. I think they drugged her. And used aggression, brute force. And bullying to uh, remedy the problem. I, I really kind of have the feeling that as she's get, been getting older, that um, she's probably tried to stand up for herself. And be like, you know, it's not something that that's right, that it's wrong for that kind of behavior to be going on between a father and a daughter. And maybe she even threatened to tell. But all in all, <clears throat> and Brother Kane. I know everybody thinks that he had a part of it and that he may have been the one that was responsible for her going missing. But it's not. His problems are stemming from all this knowledge. Knowing all that what was going on between Dad and Carly. And I can't be too sure that maybe he wasn't um, an unwilling participant himself as far as, you know, the dad. I do know that um, physical abuse was a definite key factor. So, I don't condone any type of cr criminal behavior. But, as far as Kane goes, I feel a little bit sorry for him. Because what you're seeing is the after effects, the results of this type of disharmony in family life. What he's had to live through and witness and most likely experience it himself. So, before y'all get all judgy on him, I, I believe I'd, I'd step back and kind of Look at those little aspects there and can keep that in mind. I'd probably have a drug problem and everything to escape that that reality that's a hell that he's trapped in. But he's not responsible or not a, a part of an involvement in her disappearance. It's just dad and stepmom. Now I'm off to research this now that I've done this read. I can't wait to see what I find. I thank you for taking a moment to sit back with this reading. Have a great rest of your day.